Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is El Master here, and I am coming at you today with a, another fantastic pro replay. In this case, we have in the bottom left-hand corner here on what looks to be Fighting Spirit, none other than Light. And in the bottom right-hand corner, as the orange Protoss, we have Best. And if you are familiar with Brood War, neither of these players should need too much of an introduction best one of the stronger Protoss players of all time, and definitely one of the strongest PVT players. I think the only two you could argue for having as good of PVT as best would be Stork and possibly Snow towards the very end of his career, and at some points Bisu, but best certainly in the name, uh, well over a 60% career win rate. I think close to 65% career win rate against Terran. And of course, Light uh, himself also needs no introduction. Known best as a TVZ speci specialist, sporting a win rate in that matchup that rivaled Flash, was only 1 or 2% behind Flash in TVZ win rate. Light not as well known for his TVP, a bit of a weaker match here. So certainly best will be uh, the favored player, but Light is, is definitely not a slouch by any means. And we'll just have to see how they want to play this map out here. Lots of different ways you can play on Fighting Spirit. You can get aggressive with timing attacks off of, obviously you can do one base plays. You can get aggressive with timing attacks off of two base. You can do the standard 2-1 push with macro. Uh, now there's the new 2-1 uh, two, two base timing that basically gives you uh, the same scary army as a Terran on doing a 3-1 push would have, but a bit faster in the game. Of course the downside is there's less of a transition because you don't have a third base. And, of course, the final option you can do on this map is just to play a turtling style here and split the map and take uh, half of the map and just keep Protoss from getting either of those bases and just win with efficiency. The only style that is not particularly great on Fighting Spirit is, in general, a very harass-heavy style. Uh, Fighting Spirit does get pretty narrow pathways into most of the bases. It's generally fairly easy to defend harass. And, and heavy dropship play. You know, a dropship here and there, always fine, but really going for a committed harass style is a little bit difficult to make work on Fighting Spirit. Of course, we've seen Light Scout uh, incorrectly. Same for Best, so they'll be finding each other, but it won't be for a little while. Best with the Gate and the Core so far. And Light has his barracks up, and it looks like he is going to be doing a Rax Expand, so we're going to have some pretty good economy coming up here for Light. Now he has opted to build the barracks in the main here, not any SimCity than natural, so if Best were to make a Zealot, which he is not, uh, the pressure from that would be a bit stronger, but that is not the case for Best. And we'll just see how he responds. It looks like right now he's looking to go one gate. We'll see if he responds with a Reaver or something, or if he just comes down and expands when he gets to this. Unfortunately, Best is going to see it last. He'll have less time to react to it. And Light is going to come in here and be like, okay, I feel pretty comfortable. You're not up to anything. Light getting his bunker started. He's actually keeping a few Marines out. Going to try to keep Best from seeing this, and as long as Best is paying attention to his probe, he won't lose it. And given this is at the pro level, it probably won't happen. We'd see a lot of new players lose to uh, the probe to a surprise attack like this. And yeah, Best does come down here. He's actually going to expand off one goon instead of the traditional three. And oh no, Light a little bit out of position. So Best is going to be able to waltz on in, and he's going to see the CC. Uh, he knows what he's up against, and ah, nice garrison of the bunker there. Light actually garrisoned those marines in the bunker, which kind of shot them forward a little bit faster, and used that range of the bunker to kill the probe off, so some pretty quick, clever forward thinking there by Light to deny that expansion from Best. And Light with his first factory coming down here, we should see the second one, I would guess, as soon as we have a hundred gas, unless he's feeling very threatened, which I don't think he will. Uh, I don't think we'll see an eBay or anything crazy like that out of him. Yeah, straight into that second factor. So very normal looking play. And Best is going to send his Dragoons across here and just harass the bunker. Very typical uh, when playing against this sort of a build. I think his range is not quite done. Indeed it is not. Just getting that Dragoon positioned. And has it in perfect spot. Definitely a little, little easier to position Dragoons from the side. If you want them to do this, they you can't... If you have Dragoon range, you can't right click a bunker. Uh, the Dragoons will walk into the Marine Fire, but if you hold position them at the edge of Marine range, they will fire off. And a Dragoon coming out here, let's see, is he going to, yep, going to glitch the probes. Prevent Best from getting any scouting inside the base, still doesn't know. Let's get, prevent Light from scouting inside the base. We see a Robo, that doesn't tell us much yet. 
Uh, there's just one though, so a Reaver would not totally surprise me given this case. And Reaver was considered pretty popular against uh, Rax FE. A little bit more so during kind of the 2010-2011 era, there was a lot, era, there was a lot of one gate reaver being played against Rax FE, but then Terrans kind of figured that out, and indeed, that shows us that it is going to be a reaver. Protoss generally don't opt for one gate obs. It doesn't, yeah, you get detection, you can see, but it doesn't give a whole lot of uh, aggressive power or flexibility or anything like that. It's just like, okay, I can see what Terran's doing, but you don't have enough dragoons to actually do anything about it. Uh, so the one gate with the reaver is, is a more common transition here. And Light just repairing that bunker. He's got his first tank coming, a siege mode on the way, and ah, is there going to be a starport? No, actually there is not four Dragoons here. That's trying to get that one positioned. He's able to get it into the right spot, and Light just doing a good job here repairing that. Uh, not going for mines. I guess just maybe a little bit short on the gas. Didn't want to commit to the siege tank yet. And Reaver's on the way here for best. Probably will make two Zealots. But we'll just have to see. Or, I guess there's a slight possibility... Uh, now Siege is done now. I was going to say, if the Reaver was a bit faster, possibility to use the Reaver here to shoot the SCVs and get the bunker to fall and then be able to break the base. Uh, not going to be the case in this case. And, whoa, what? Well, you don't see that very often, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Best is doing something that would traditionally be considered uh, a very poor strategical choice, which is to expand closer to the Terran. Usually this is not done because it allows Light to just creep a little bit outside of his base uh, and just kind of slow push and easily kill the third base of Best. So it is a very interesting decision. And oh, Best is not even bringing any units with this Reaver. This is also interesting. So Best doing a lot of kind of strange stuff here. Light has a perfect spotting eBay. I think Best will probably turn around the second he sees that. Uh, the eBay is going to let the turret hit the shuttle. And yeah, he turns around, but not before taking a few hits on that shuttle. So already some health falling down on that, and a few vultures out here from Light. And I'm very curious to see where Best wants to take this game. He's already got a pretty good number of gateways. Transferring a few more probes over here, uh, heading towards the third base. See already a transfer there, and that's pretty classic transfer for uh, Best. Oh, actually, no, he's sending both from the main and the third, so just going to go ahead and fully saturate that up, leaving just the right number of probes in the main there at 9. A uh, couple extra in the natural, but that's almost a perfect transfer. You want one worker at just about every base. And the Reaver here doing a bit of harass. But not really getting a whole lot done. More just the threat of Reaver here, forcing some mines to be laid, distracting Light. We can see Light is going to go ahead and take that third base. Uh, he, does he actually see that Best has expanded there yet? Uh, I don't know. Are you going to let me turn off players? Apparently not. Not sure what's up with that, but not exactly behaving the way it's supposed to. we got a pylon wall there. He'll know now if he didn't already know. And looks like Best thinking about a fourth base as well. The only thing I can think here is that Best is taking this base uh, in case Light tries to play for a split map situation, just to have some of these minerals already mined, and then he'll transfer over there. It still seems like an odd decision, but if you knew your opponent was going to just turtle for half the map, it would make a little bit more sense. But it's still a, a pretty curious decision by Best, as far as I can tell. And we're going to go to, looks like, five factories here from Light. Let's take a look. Where is that upgrade status? We got the first? Second armory, I hope. Ooh, this is interesting. This is also a little unorthodox from Light. Normally, uh, this style would involve a fast... Uh, double armory, but this is not particularly fast. We're only just now starting plus one at about nine minutes So there's not going to be the traditional 2-1 timing here for light So perhaps we're looking for a bit of an odd heavy unit timing from light and best is going to float his goons over here And do a little bit of the usual uh, annoy the CC try to better prevent it from landing Maybe get a few good reaver shots off here and if light mishandles this uh, Then the expansion will be delayed for a long time He'll lose a lot of units and it'll just be very very much on the back burner few mines here, but there is an obs here, so he can't attack this with the probe and clear that out. Uh, has his third gas, has not started mining it quite yet, and continuing to add gateways going up to six gates. Ultra's laying a few mines here for light, and that looks like some arb tech on the way, as well as a plus one weapons. Um, or is this going to be carriers? Never mind, I say arb tech, but I don't see an archives uh, anywhere. So possibly going to be carriers here from Best. 
No guarantees, but usually you would build the Stargate and the Temple Archives at the same time. And since I'm not seeing the Temple Archives anywhere, I am trying to decide if I'm blind. Okay, never mind. We got an Archives down now. Just wasn't quite made when I was there earlier. And Best getting this base secured. He's got a few Dragoons over here. And he's out of position, though, so the Vultures can snipe the probe if they want to. But unfortunately, Light is not paying attention to that because he wants his third base. And Best is just trying to deny that for as long as he can. Now we have a few Zealots in here with which to bomb. Soak a little bit of fire going for that money. Reaver Scarab, or perhaps not. And looks like Best is going to get a few of these tanks, but then forced to back up. Light bringing enough of his army over here to comfortably secure that third base. Still continuing to delay this a little bit, picking off some units, just trying to get utility out of the Reaver. Picks it up nicely in the shuttle there. Some good pops on the Reaver. That is an excellent Scarab, but it looks like Bess is perhaps just slightly overcommitting here. Has now lost almost all of his Dragoons. And do one more shuttle harass. Let's see, Reaver's going to go down, and Light forced to pull back just a bit as the Scarab comes in. Gets off another Scarab hit, he goes for one more, and that takes down another tank. Best getting some excellent mileage out of this, and of course his fourth base is up and running in the meantime. And still, these two Dragoons are just annoying the living daylights out of light, and this is becoming quite a bit of damage here. Uh, we can see Best opening up a 40 supply lead, and finally light is up there on the high ground, able to take that base. Reaver, oh, I thought he dropped the Reaver and lost it, but no, still has the Reaver, gonna go into the main here. Oh, there are a few turrets around and a few mines. And, uh-oh, that's going to be it for the shuttle. SCVs are running. Can he get a money scarab? Oh, uh, it's going to be dicey, but it looks like... Nope, it's dud. That one is pretty good. Three or so SCVs. There's a lot of kills on this Reaver, though. Eight kills, several of which are tank kills, nonetheless. And it looks like the Reaver is finally going to die here. Perhaps the SCV or perhaps the tanks. And now we're going to have a small counterattack here from Light, I guess, on this third Nexus. And this is the danger of the close Nexus, but Light is not that well set up over here. And you would normally never see a Terran try something like this, especially after Protoss did that much damage. But given how close it was, I think Light's going to give it a run. But it doesn't look like he has enough tanks at first glance. He's going to need some excellent mines here, trying to reinforce this. And actually, a lot of Vultures are trickling in here, dying. And it looks like uh, this is going to work out for Light. So Best is going to lose his third Nexus here. He's got to pull back. He's lost all of his Zealots. Trying to send a few more over the high ground just to keep mining there at that third base. And he is able to clear out those tanks. And he's actually continuing to pressure here with the Dragoons. But that trade definitely swinging back into Light's favor. And now the third base up in mining. We are on seven factories here for Light. And a hell of a lot more gateways than that for Best. That looks to be about heading up to ten gates. Currently on about seven or eight. And it looks like Light is finally going to be in a position here on this base. And we can see Best more or less macroing just zealots playing pvt exactly how you're supposed to which is when you go to engage you have dragoon mass early you've got some zealots you run in and if your zealots die then you immediately back off with your dragoons the second your zealots are dead and then you can just be macroing zealots only for faster reinforcements out of your gateway while keeping your dragoon count high and there's a few zealots here uh light gonna move in and harass a bit at the front and it looks like, for the moment, Best is kind of giving up this Nexus, thinking to swing around for a counter. Light has left zero tanks back at home, but some big mines going off, absolutely demolishing some of Best's Dragoons here. And some Vultures arrive at the wall, and with just Zealots, Best is going to be deterred there. And the harassment continuing from Light here at the bottom base. Although at this point, I guess it's becoming more than just harassment, it's becoming a legitimate threat. The Vultures have got access, and Best is going to have to transfer away probes here shortly. Supply for light now equal to the supply of best after those attacks went off so poorly here for best and with light getting the third base the probes now finally forced to run completely and best will need to move to take the top bases here shortly or he's going to find himself in a very weak position economically here against best. And he's also going to find himself, oh no, a vulture raid on these probes gets three or four and then he's going to be turned around the army is in the right spot but not 100% crisp escort, escorting of probes from Best, and you can see the OBS is headed up there, but he needs to get a probe up there. I feel like he's going to need another main with gateways pretty soon, and of course now the annoying thing is Light already has this position on the map, and he can just kind of slowly start creeping toward Best. Very uncomfortable position to be in. Best sending some Dragoons over here, clearing out this tank. We'll see if he tries to retake this base. We can see he's mined about half the minerals, but yeah, Light is now committing to a full push, and Best will have to back up here. You can see though, Best doing what he does best, known as the Macro Protoss for a reason. Already 30 supply back ahead of Light. 
Just incredibly efficient macro toss. And it looks like best here, Max, he does not have his stasis yet, but he's going to move in here with a gateway army. The tank count is very low from light, so there's a chance this will work, but most of the zealots here are being slayed. And you can see right there, best shows exactly what you have to do in PvT. Immediately pulls back, even before all of his zealots die. You can see he's macroing almost exclusively zealots in his gateways. A few dragoons, as you always will lose a few when you move in. But this push from light now looking very, very scary. And Bess has just not been able to make a dent in it, continuing to lose even more Dragoons here. He is getting a shuttle out, and that shuttle is loaded with High Templar. That could be the tool uh, that Bess is going to need to break this up right now, because his gateway-only army is getting nowhere. Of course, Light did delay those upgrades. We can see he's only at 1-1. He delayed those upgrades specifically so he could do a little bit faster attack, a little bit more aggression towards the third like this. And certainly so far, it has panned out for him. Zealot's trying to, or Vulture's trying to go into harass, but army here from best to repel that and best is again again going to swing around and threaten that counter almost losing the arbiter to the stray turret but keeps it alive that is important and best mining just one base right now does not quite have a bank yet oh he's running in a few zealots i don't know what that was about looks to be a bit of a mistake there from best we finally have a probe over here he can start taking a fourth base <clears throat> but he is in deep trouble that army of light has him siege at the bridges and this becomes an even bigger issue because well, uh, there's only one set of gateways, and he has to attack through a choke against a siege Terran army with mines. So if he can't get some recalls going or somehow break up this army, uh, this game will be over. It'll be very easy for Light to uh, send some forces over here, although it is very good for Best that he has kept two control groups out on this side of the map. This makes the decision-making much more complicated for Light. And now we see the recall into the main a few dragoons a few zealots it's not a huge recall it should be dealt with but it is going to bring some of the army of light back and certainly serve to be distracting he's going to go for the science facility he is able to block emp that's a pretty big move that means no stopping the energy on the templars and most importantly no stopping the energy on the arbiters it's going to give best uh, almost complete reign to recall anywhere he wants or throw down good stasis and in the meantime best moving out across the bridges using those templar storms light having pulled most of his army back very nice moves here from best as he regains control outside of his base that was very important but of course best threw away a lot of units in that process did not kill many units with that recall and so he is behind on supply doesn't exactly have a huge bank he is expanding to that fourth base and he absolutely must keep control here of his bridge does not want to get pinned behind it Let's see does he have another arbiter out yet there should be one more but perhaps it also has died looks like uh, Light is going to come over here and clear out these gases. Probably could consider building a CC here because then he'll just continue to push on this path and build a CC here. Not a guarantee, but it is a possibility given that we're seeing SCVs arriving. Uh, that's certainly indicative of that. Going to start distance mining from this base. And now Best is going to swing around with these Dragoons doing a little bit of mine clearing, escorting his probes safely over to the fourth base, which is not quite done. Also choosing to distance mine. And the Observer here is going to fall, and uh, we're going to have a bit of an engagement. A stasis goes down here, but Best is kind of against the wall. I'm not sure this is the best angle for this attack, and I think he needs to pull back right now. Well, actually, never mind. He's got a lot of Templar. That's going to change the game, and we are seeing the power here of Storm in PvT softening up all the tanks, but it looks like he's run out of Storm, and Best is forcing this fight with Dragoons, primarily because the tank count is low and injured, so he is able to clean up all of those tanks, and it's going to be a question of reinforcements. And here come the reinforcements from Best. For the moment, it is enough. And I think Light is going to have to move back. Beautiful, beautiful storms allow Best to take an engagement that without them would have been absolutely terrible. He was down to just Dragoons. And you almost never see just Dragoons win against decent siege counts. But if you have four or five storms to throw down on all the valuable tanks, well, that changes the game plan. And the vessel, oh, is it going to make it away? Gets an EMP. So Light was able to research EMP in that interim, and Light probably at 2-1 now. So yeah, he has those important upgrades. Best is at 2-0 on his own. He's actually not upgrading at the moment. Resources a little bit precious here for Best right now, uh, as he's only mining from one base. And let me tell you guys, that is an uncomfortable position to be as a Protoss player. But we can see it is actually the same situation for Light. Well, actually, Light just got his second base up and running. Uh, Best, of course, has already mined out about half of that. So again, perhaps we're seeing that as the rationale for that interesting uh, expansion location here from Best. And is Best going to go for the killing blow, or is he just threatening a counter? No, it looks like Best actually wants to go in here for the attack. 
He knows he doesn't have a ton of money and Light is mining heavily. Splitting some zealots, trying to get rid of these mines and he's just gonna pour straight into the natural here. Go for the jugular perhaps position on the factories, but he could also swing up and try to attack that base depending on his game plan. But right now he is moving heavily into the natural, being forced to attack the bunker. He is not getting on top of this and the Arbiters have unfortunately gone the wrong way. Some very poor Arbiter control there from Best and he's going to lose it. No, okay. The Arbiter stays alive to the turret, but this attack is going nowhere for Best. It doesn't feel like more or less getting split up in the natural. Light's not losing a ton. Dragoon's running up here on move command. This was really a very sloppy attack from Best. That storm, was that a whiff? I don't even know. Maybe there was one tank there, but it didn't hit a whole lot. And so Best just holding on now with this slim two base mining. So two base mining versus two base mining. Remember this base, although new for light, uh, Best has mined a lot out of it. So there's not a ton of minerals left here for light, but two base to two base is a very comfortable Terran position, especially when there are already two one upgrades in play. And Best recollecting his army is getting ready to dive in here for yet another attack. Or at least to do some Minesweeper here. And Light just entrenching this position. Turtling up a little bit, holding on to that fourth base of his. And Best is going to pull back yet again. Okay, we see Best, yeah, definitely not prioritizing the upgrades. Comfortable with his two attack for now. Uh, upgrades don't aren't quite as critically important in PvT. You definitely want the attack upgrade, but the other upgrades, they make a difference, but they're significantly less powerful than, say, in a matchup like PvZ. And the Vultures one in the Templar Snipes, and they get them. That's one of the reasons you absolutely must have that Shuttle Escort Templar. And some Vultures going for a run-by here. They're going to try to go to the back of the base and kill a few of these probes, but the cannons are able to shut down all of them but one. And this Vulture now very low in health, but it has found a little bit of a spot here where it can tickle the probes, but Best comes and cleans that up. Arbit production still being continued. Should be okay gas from Best, but he has not taken that third base yet. And Light just kind of regathering himself back up to 140 supply. Looks like he still has a few mines here. No intent to expand yet. Shutting down that possible recall there. Good move from Light. Never want to have a recall coming in, especially when you're trying to get out on the map. Um, best if you can just EMP those guys and prevent them getting in. Uh, Light does have a few mines laid though, so even if Recall does get in, uh, there's enough turrets that it won't get all the way down here. It'll have to Recall somewhere over there, so those mines will help soften it up. And now Best getting close to Max is controlling his side of the map and opting to take his fifth base as well. So this game's swinging into some major economy here. And look at Best getting his army into a nice line as Light again threatens the main base here of Best. Getting a few mines down out in front of his army. Has some mines flanking up the rear. And that is so powerful as a Terran player. Uh, it's so hard to play as a Protoss when Terran has mines everywhere. You can't counterattack easily. You have to spend tons of time clearing minefields. It's just a very, very powerful tactic to be good with your mine laying. And then obviously in front of your push, it's just a must-do because it will kill off probably half the Zealots before they even get anywhere near your tank line. And it looks like this is probably about as far forward as best can go, clearing the mines here as he now enters tank range, clears out what he can, force it back off, does lose the OBS in the process. And a little bit of distance mining here as we wait for this base to come up and gateways being added finally to another main for best. Light actually banking quite a bit of money here considering he's only mining two bases. It's not that common that you see a little bit of a macro air from a pro, but that is undeniably a bit of a macro air from light now has his minerals back down under control but there was a little bit too much focus there on best attack and light is going to go for the center so light definitely is playing kind of a turtling game just not in the most traditional format we'd see just wants to kind of sprawl the middle of the map here holding on to his six o'clock and then with that sprawl hoping that sprawl and this narrow entrance will be more than enough to hold the center base and then probably, when he, if he gets the opportunity, we'll see him crawl up towards Best's 4th and 5th base up at the top right-hand side of the map. So Light getting some very good economy going. Best starting to get a bank. And all those gateways coming online for Best now has that 20 gateways. He's going to start to feel much better about this PVT. That's more the kind of position you want to be in. PVT, when you only have 7, 8, 9 gates in one base against a max Terran is pretty scary. One bad engagement can kind of get you trapped in there and unable to do anything. But when you've got a bunch of gates at both bases, you can reinforce incredibly fast and you have the flexibility to 
uh, send units to Terran from both sides, different options, and we're having a Vulture counterattack at the 3 o'clock, but at the same time, Best is going for the main break here into the center, and it looks like he might have enough zealots. Some Dragoons coming in from the bottom. Light is going to need to reposition those tanks, but at the same time, Light is destroying the economy of Best, and it looks like Light will defend. Yes, some SCVs certainly died in that attack, but the command center is alive. Lots of the tanks are alive, and these vultures here with a lot of probe kills. We're seeing probably 15 probe kills total from all those vultures, and a drop coming into the top base here. Light suddenly all over the map. Dropping these vultures here, gonna swing in behind the minerals, look to target down a few probes, and just anything he can do to slow Best down. The dropships quickly assassinated, the goons are on top of it, but damage has been dealt, and Best still has done absolutely nothing to get down here towards this base, and he's reaching that point where he's in danger of losing the Nexus. Had Light been target firing the Nexus, it would have fallen, and in the meantime, after losing his whole army, Light pushes towards the top base here from Best, and Best has 185 supply, but let's ask where is it? It looks like it is mostly in the mains, and he's doing his best to keep Light off of his front nexus. And for the moment, indeed, Light isn't there, but Best with this attack occurring, unable to save that base, and it looks like we might see a sandwich attempt here from Best, and it's almost pure tank in the backfield, so will it be able to do something? Zealots usually can, but a beautiful D-Matrix goes down, and Best moving in from the other side as well, panning out on this attack, trying to clear these tanks, and he looks like he's just gonna run out of units. There's not any storms here. Well, there's one. Maybe if he can land this storm. Very aggressive attack from Best being heavily reinforced. The goons are spread. The storm goes down. It looks like there's gonna be just enough units with that next wave of reinforcements. Light does not have reinforcements coming. He is actually going to counter with the vultures. That's gonna force Best away from the clump of stasis. But the vultures now coming down here, just target firing probes. They will fall, but they are picking off four, five, six, seven, eight probes, slowing down that economy of Best, keeping it, keeping Best production down a little bit, keeping that bank from going up. And it's gonna settle here. These tanks are gonna die and nothing light can do about that, so that's a good pick-off trying to run away, but way too much Protoss. So Best still has a bit of an army, but his probe saturation now badly, badly hurt. And uh-oh, EMP goes off, gets a wonderful EMP, hits the Arbiter and all the Zealots, and now Best is going to go into the center, but I don't know about this move. That is a ton of siege tanks, and yeah, Best quickly sees that and thinks better that there are even buildings out in front. It's just a very narrow, difficult-to-attack gap. It looks so exposed. As a Protoss, it's very frustrating. You're like, oh man, Terran has, Terran has this center base. He can't possibly hold this. It's open. It's exposed. And then you run in there, and you just can't get anything done. Best playing a little bit of Minesweeper at 12. Doesn't have the money to add cannons over here. This is forcing his army to stay quite near his fourth base, as a Vulture run by at this point with no cannons would just wreck the probe lines almost immediately. Best continuing to macro out of both sets of gateways and supplies. Very close for Best both players and we've got a recall towards the bottom base here from best able to get it in past the vessel and Terran pretty far away light actually has nothing moving on the minimap as a response is his response going to be to counter we see what looks to be an SCV transfer most likely headed up towards the top but best forcing the lift on this and he's gonna pick off all the buildings down here and is this indeed yeah indeed it is an SCV transfer of sorts actually being forced to kill off one of his own mines he wants to put down a command center here but he does not have the money yet, so he's going to just distance mine a little bit as he mines out this third base. And suddenly it is just one base mining from light. Best mining from two, a bit weakly from two, but mining from two bases. Uh, he's a bit gas starved, and he is not mining gas from all his bases. Only two on gas here, and only, well, just now putting some on gas here, getting three back on gas. He does have a fairly robust army, though. And I think Light is just going to try to get to 400 minerals, and then probably we're going to see a command center here at the top left, as he's going to need to actually know he's going to float the command center over uh, and continue to spend money on units. And he does still control the center. This is his last bit of mining. This base, though, more or less mined out, so not the most powerful recall from Best. Uh, we do have a few vultures, though, slipping in here for a little bit of harass damage. Uh, and they get about two or three probes and then it killed off. But again, vultures are very cheap. There's a few ways to look at vulture cost, 75 minerals. You can look at it as 25 per mine and the vultures are free. Uh, or even if you look at them as 75 though, uh, by the time you kill one probe, you've basically paid for the vulture. You pay for 50, but then Protoss needs to spend another 50 to remake that worker. And another attempt at the harass, but the zealots are here in position. And I think it's a few too many zealots. Will they go in for the Templar snipe? No. Best quickly hold positions his army there to deal with those mines. 
and the ob is floating up here. Now he's going to move forward, clear out a few of those mines. Looks like we're trying to sweep the Observer and a beautiful pickoff there from Light, showing some great control, keeping that minefield intact, and Vultures continuing to rove around looking for any probes they can pick off. Best now Max, though, so scary position here for Light. Uh, he is mining, though, from this base, so it is two base to two base, and in that sense, that always makes Best uncomfortable. Anytime Terran equalizes your base count, you start to feel a little bit, eh, I don't know about this as a Protoss. So Best is going to move across the map. A major reinforcement. Quite a large army here from Best. That looks like one, two, three, four, five. This is a very big army here from Protoss. So Best is definitely looking for a good engagement. Let's see if he can get it. I'm not going to quite call it do or die, but it's certainly an important engagement here from the Macro Toss. And there are not that many Zealots left. Some great stasis are being hit. Even some storms in here. And the army of Best, as we talked about, is very large. It was close to a six control group army. So it is enough to smash in here. And it looks like he's going to ignore the stasis tanks and run directly into the fourth base. Wants to shut down that mining ASAP and continuing to reinforce, having to go the long way, but doing a good job of that. Some SCVs dying, and some of these tanks are going to be getting close to unstasising. So let's see if Best swings back and if Light tries to defend them. And for the moment, the answer is not that much, but the tanks here are helping to defend. And the Zelts are trickling where they shouldn't be trickling. If he wants to be able to kill these tanks, he needs to keep his army zone. There are some major mines going off, killing tons of goons, but the third base is gone and dead. Or rather, the uh, second mining base, fifth or so base that Light has attempted to take this game. But Best is able to clear Light's army. And this low eco situation continuing. Look at this SCV, though, for Vulture 4 Light here. Going to get another two or three probes. And the lower the eco gets, the more value there is to this harass. You know, when you kill three probes and you've got 70 and tons of minerals, it's not a big deal. But when you kill and you're down to just two low bases of mining with like 20 or 30 probes and you kill a couple of them, that becomes far more significant. Another Dragoon falling into the mine here. See, Best got his three, third attack eventually, but did not upgrade beyond that. Light, of course, is at 3-3, three, three, so some nice upgrade advantage here for Light. His army is powerful in that sense, but sometimes it's hard when Protoss has, you know, three control groups more than you, as we saw in Best's nice break over here. And now Best still looking for another option, looking for somewhere to go to get some damage done. Probably just wants to shut down this base. If he does, that's going to be it for Light's mining. Although Light is actually already quite drained on resources. The position very difficult for Light right now. He has to defend the center base. He also has to defend the top left. He's going to need that. And it might be a little too much real estate for Light to be able to effectively defend. So Best for the moment just going to zone his own side. But we can see Best now is going to go down to his last mining base. And Light, although this he's not played it exactly this way, this game is playing out now very similar to a split map. It's basically whoever is going to get more bases can Light prevent Best from getting another base or two while establishing another base of his own. If so, then it'll work in his favor. If not, then Best is going to become uh, or be in a very, very, very powerful situation. It's going to have way too much money to work with and eventually will overwhelm Light. And oh no, nice snipe from Light there and slow reaction from Best. Gets another good Arbiter snipe and even a few mines going off. And both players right now being static, they know their money flow is getting a little bit lower. When I say static, like no commitment to big engages. I mean, Best is still moving around, clearing out mines, but uh, and Light's still laying them. But no, no commitment to engagements because they're getting down to the point now where resources are low enough. They know if they have a bad engagement, they will be losing that game. So they are just kind of feeling each other out, looking for weaknesses in the line. So far, though, not many revealed. Best has, again, re -macroed. And we know from his probe saturation that it's not crazy, crazy high as his army is approaching almost six control groups, which makes this a very powerful maxed army. And we'll see if Best goes for yet another attack. He wanted a recall, but it is perfectly denied there by Light. Best has gotten in a couple, but he's never gotten a super powerful, like, money recall. And it looks like Best now going to crawl forward. There we go, showing some nice control with his army, leading with those Dragoons to clear out the mines, keeping the rest of the army back and safe until the mines are largely gone. And every second, Light is allowed to mine this base. It's the second more comfortable for Light. 
As Light starts to move up towards that 190, 200 number, he'll feel much, much better about himself. Right now, he still feels probably like he's on low units defending. We can see his tank count not super high. And is Best going to commit to it? Yes, Best is finally going to commit to this attack. That is a very robust minefield out in front, though. And the Stasis was working against the Zealots. We're down to just Dragoons. And the tank line very deep back here for Light. I don't know if Best should continue to fight this, but he is a master of reinforcing. Only Best can keep trickling in Zealots 40 seconds into a TVP fight, but he overstayed his welcome a bit. All the Zealots die, and he's left with only a group of goons. However, guess what? Light has not left, and the answer is defense for this base. So Ominous Templar coming in with a lot of storms. Coming in, hits an EMP on two of them, I believe, but one still has enough, and every single SCV at the base falls. Light arriving just a little too late with the tanks, not getting the transfer. Very unfortunate. Mine's going off. The rest of this will fall, but oh man, that completely crushes the economy of Light, who immediately begins rebuilding SCVs, but that was also most of Best's economy as well. This is the last of his mining. Will he save and attempt to renex over here on the right side? Probably not. There's not enough minerals. He's trying to distance mine that, keeping a little bit of army over here to deal with vultures from light. Can't afford to have those probes get sniped off in a situation that's this low on economy. And that leaves Best with only one logical expansion. But standing between Best and that expansion is this large army of light. And let's get a look at this here. We've got about a group of tanks, a group of vultures, a few Goliaths, a few science vessels. So it is a very mixed army. And Best appears to have a control group or so there. It appears to be only about two control groups for Best. That's a scary situation. A equal control group army is usually favored for Terran. We've got some vultures running in here. Just going to pick off a few of the gas probes. Best will need some unbelievable storms or stasis to deal with this, and the vultures are just going to hustle out here. In fact, Best should probably pull back. He is low enough on money that sending in pure zealot to fight against vulture is not something he can afford to do right now. Really needs to keep those alive. Light reestablishing this base, continuing to mine from two, whereas Best is mining from just one. I feel like this game might just be slipping out of Best's hands. His attack was great, but he lost all that remained of his army. That was quite a few Dragoons. That was Templar with Storm. This one wanted to get another Storm down. It is the one responsible for so much terror early on, but unable to do anything in this situation. And the last Minerals mining out here. So it's one mining base for Light. It's one mining base for Best, and a little bit of distance mining. Um, for, for best here, Light not really forced a distance mine yet. We've seen him try it a few times, this, particularly this base, but with the command center there, obviously no need for that. And best is zoning on his own side right now, but he needs to make something happen. Vulture's gonna go up the ramp here, hunting probes, getting a few. And every time best gets careless, that's a few zealots, there are a few dragoons that die to mines. And that's less of an army he has, and that matters a ton when you've only got one base, and Best is about to dry up. So that really doesn't leave Best any options, especially since he never attempted to re-expand here. At this point, Best needs to go for some sort of a killing blow, and in this case, really the only killing blow that Best has is to go to the fourth base of Light. So it is an odd decision to attack the natural. He's hoping there's no defense there, but Light's coming back. But unfortunately, Best is need to move quickly, which meant he's had to leak Zealots into the minefield, and he's thinned his Zealot count tremendously. He's sitting on about a control group and a half, Oh man, the Vultures are going to get the snipe on the Templar. That's a big deal, so no threat of storms now. And look how thin the army is, although he is catching some reinforcements from Light. But look at that bank of Light. Best is desperately gunning for factory position here, uh, but he's not moved up the ramp, and it's like he's walked in and done a recall instead of actually recalling. It feels like a recall, looks like a recall, but it's actually just an attack. But I just don't know if it's enough units. Best has zero money. He's trying to keep the Arbiter alive. Doesn't have enough. And GG is called. Light takes down one of the best PVT players of all time in an excellent almost 40-minute game.